that whole statement gives me PTSD, but uh, you in a rush, man? No, I'm not. What's up? Oh, by the way, you were just, uh, you were just going 95. Uh, oh, I was just so picking him up. Good. I didn't want him to pull out a car because he's a danger to society, honestly, when he drives. Right, gotcha. yeah. But he was flying through this intersection and flying over hundreds. Yeah, but I didn't hit anything. I was safe. There was nothing I mean, in you the could way. Have, you could have. You could have hit a flashlight victim, you know? I don't have a flashlight, sir. I have changed my ways. Oh, hi. I have fish well, in my pocket and a year five fishing rod. I do not have a flashlight. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Sir, I get beat every day of my life. Is this, uh, is this a friend of yours, ma'am? In the back seat here? Oh, she's a fellow officer. Amanda. Amanda. Who's in Who's the back it? seat? Anna. Oh, it's Anna. Seven, seven, nine, That's Anna. my manager. I'm also a stripper. And did you change your name? You change your hair? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it was for the costume. And I dyed it and had it done. You know, Anna works over at Vanilla good? Unicorn with me. And sometimes I have to be security over there with yeah, the flashlight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I remember that. that. Yeah. I remember that. We're just having a conversation on this 10 11 right now. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know if the 10 11 turned. Keep it safe. So, Sometimes people like to not very peacefully no, protest outside of it, I heard. Um, by the so way. That gunshot is unrelated, so maybe just check that. What's up? Um, by the way, are you um, going to be able to come this Friday? Yeah, I can come this Friday. That'll be fun. Awesome. Western event. I just right, hired more people uh, at Burger Shot. Just uh, take it easy with the acceleration, alright? Okay, I will use you the you brakes. Know, you, won't, you, know, you won't need a flashlight to murder people, you just need your bike. I, I would not hit a soul with this beating. bike, honestly. I am a good citizen. Ended my ways. Lost her charger Ended. all black. That's a good one. <laughs> you as well. Uh, I don't know. I don't think anyone in right Red now has Red shirt Potter. Red shirt Potter. Oh. Tommy. He's alive. I haven't seen you since last September. Look. What's up, Dawson? Look, there's lots of abandoned vehicles on the street. But somebody lost an uh, all-black uh, charger because uh, Mandem is uh, tr cruising around in it. Is there a number on charger? it? Charger? No, there's no number on the roof. Yes, they removed the colors on the roof of the vehicle, and they just repaint, re spray painted it. Yeah, not that I know of. We just got in, pretty much. Yeah, you said explosions. I don't think she has. Turn two plus one, same traffic to the other It looked like they hit a gas pump or hit a gas truck. Oh, sniping. Just go check the fire right anyway. Alright, well, they got a charger to clean up. Remember, what, what did you see a blast? I have no box. Remember when I said that, that someone stole an APD car? They just joined yeah. riding with it? That was it. That's it. Look. I am headache and I'm all the time. Thanks, man. We can question... We're on San Andreas Avenue right now. We can question those guys. Yeah, yeah it explodes. And now I know whose charger it is. Who's, who's is it? I think it was a pedestrian, Mine. they just drove their car in today. It's yours? What? Oh, sorry guys, I'm on the radio. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's my charger. They're, they're supposed to be uh, a... in the depot. Yeah, sometimes I didn't have it. Anybody else headache right now? Right now, if you open up the shop and you talk to James, he doesn't want to accept the doors are locked. Alright boys, go. Thank you for being for Have a good day. Yep, these locals also have heavy headaches too, sir. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, heavy headaches seems to be every three or four minutes.
I am not. We're on San Andreas Avenue now, but we don't see it yet. Oh, you good, man? Ma'am, when you say this is an actual cop, did you see the one you're referring to, that stolen police vehicle? I saw him, but I don't know where he is now. That's why I thought he was y'all. Gotcha. You know who they are? I might have just no. saw it. Do you know you where don't? I can try to change my car? Someone from, from EMS kind of spray painted my car. <laughs> I don't like I it. I did. It's on San Andreas Avenue headed up towards Pillbox. You could go to LS Customs. Or, um, I'm not gonna pay money since he did that shit. Uh, depends who you deal with. Look, sometimes they, right they charge you, sometimes they don't. Right there. Oh, hold on, the radio. Oh, it's very, we see very him. Loud. We see him. We see him. Thank you. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, He's making a U-turn. Made a U-turn now. San Andreas Avenue going east. Made a U-turn. Made a left on the engine. Yeah, it's going north on edge of that Dawson, as soon as you get it, decoy that fucker. Luna was, Tammy Luna was supposed to decoy it after her car got stolen, and that's all I had to give her to try and get her car back. She literally said she was decoying it. Whoa. So it looks like she just left it out and let Mandem have it, so I'm gonna be a little pissed at that now. That's me in the black Tahoe. It's not fast enough. If you lose it again, let me know because I'll track yeah, it from my phone. We're south on the engine, we're passing through the section. We're waiting on the freeway. Alright. You're good. Westbound down the freeway. Perhaps going to a repair shop because his car is badly damaged. I'll tell you where they're at. Oh, they might be going to. They're over by uh, by Howick yeah, Avenue. We're, good. we're just searching for that vehicle. Over by uh, looks like LS Customs. Yeah, cool. we're, we're, we're tracking it again, ma'am. Sorry, gotta go. Again, just give me a call on the radio on channel 9. What, oh, they're at LS Customs though? Uh, that's the area they, uh, my GPS pinged them in. Let's look inside there. But, yeah, they, they were up by, uh, LS Customs. Let me, uh, ping them again and I'll see if they're still there. Around the corner from LS Customs. Do you have a cardinal direction? So, north, east, west? Uh, Hallway Avenue, San Vitas Boulevard, they're in that complex. I'm pretty sure that isn't that like their complex over there? Yes, there's a. There's a shopping mall here. Well, uh, the corner of Hallway and San Vistas, they're back in that area. Who are we chasing? Who are we chasing? 
Yeah, they're on me, right? Never mind, they're gone. There's uh, Las Lagunas Boulevard. There's a cop yeah, right boys, there. Yeah, boys, you wanna, do you wanna stop fucking around? Dawson, you, you should have just passed you. Yeah, they're on me. They're on me. They're taking a the piss. They're following us around. No one chance here. Uh, I'm so going on uh, the we can send Peter's put it by better to take a right turn here onto Ellis Customs going westbound Carson Way. That's the courthouse. Make them all, make them all, make them all, make them all. Blue building, whatever the hell it is. Make, make them all, all. Make, make them all. Make them all, they're getting a repair kit. Take they're leaving time. on uh, Davis Avenue. Hey, see them? No, it must have just rested the head shop on Davis or northbound? Northbound. Cafe. Cool. Dude, they're moving quick as hell. Oh, they have NOS in the, your vehicle, sir. What'd you say? They put NOS in your, your vehicle. Who has my vehicle? No, no, no. They, they put, put NOS in it. Yes, NOS. But NOS, they're in a building off of Adams Boulevard and. Carleas Avenue, that building right to your right, Mike, uh, Michael, I think it's, you're next to it now, that long kind of building. Yep, you guys go in that way to the right. Site. I guess the construction site, you guys passed and you guys turn around. The building on the corner of Adams Boulevard and Dutch London Street. You mean the Mile High Club? I'm wondering if they're going all the way up top, because they're just going back and forth inside that, uh, Building. Are we right on top of them? Uh, you're right. In, you're right next to them. It's that building you guys are at now. And for they're probably going to head onto the uh, the highway. Yeah, they're, they're headed. The yeah, they uh, took off to the right towards. Uh, yeah, they're coming the out on Colossus Ave now, going westbound. But it came out good. Crossing the old PD station, uh, northwest on Vespucci. They're fast, I got long eyes. Northwest on North Rockford Drive, uh, past the tennis court. Cold tires if you can. Yeah, they're. I don't see them anymore. They're fast. Uh, last seen North Rockford Drive. Uh, they're on Morningwood Boulevard heading south. Back towards uh, 
Vespucci Boulevard. Morning. Now they're on South Boulevard, Del Perro, heading uh, east. Our move How west. The life of it, are they're in a building at uh, Mad Wayne Thunder Drive and South Boulevard, Del Piro. But is that? It looks like that underground parking garage thing. Wait, wait, wait! I know that place. This is actually that. Uh, is that the place where you can live inside of apartments? It's right near the wine place. Yeah, we're we're nearby. They have not moved. You guys are circling the building right now. It looks like. Oh, oh! I know where it is. It's, uh, it's the building between Dorset Drive, Mad Wayne Thunder hey, Drive, you know at South Boulevard, Del Piro. Whatever that building is. Shit, I'm not quite sure what one you mean. Oh, the Maze Bay um, uh, Tower. It's the Maze Bay Tower. Look on your map, it looks like a tube of lipstick when you look at your GPS. Tube of lipstick? Oh, okay. What right here? It's a tube of lipstick. Not, not that far down. It was South Del Perro Boulevard or Del South Boulevard Del Perro. thing that's there is the train tracks but the only thing that is here is the train tracks either a they drove into the train station then they might be in the train station dear jesus You're literally circling the whole area you're just not entering uh where it's at my right on top of them right here whoever c smith is your car is facing the building that they're in. Never mind, you just move. You guys gotta stop, so because your G your guys' GPS is crazy. And Dawson, it's on the block behind you. Oh, I think four. Okay, I see. I see. The one that looks like uh, lipstick. You see that? Yeah, we got eyes. They're right in front of us here on the street. Okay. Up here. Fire right now, 
so just just chase them till they till they pop any more time. Oh, I'm gonna oh. check, sir. I'm gonna shoot her right now. You wanna shoot her? Right. Yeah, yeah we're, 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 where they, where they dropped the car, where they dropped the car. Where's the other one at? Did you get him? He, um, he, I can't get out of the car, sir. The door's locked. Shit, sir. Yeah, I don't know where you went. And for stay on the chase. Uh, secure that, um, that, uh, guy, Cole. Is this, the, is this the vehicle that was shooting at you, Cole? Yes, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Alright, I'll stay on him. I, uh, VCB, he, uh, hit a jump. Yeah, four, I'm following one of the black hatchbacks that was firing the call. We're going westbound here with Gavin. You want to join up with me? Cole is secured one of the, uh, suspects. Alright, we're going westbound here with Gavin. Yeah, I'm going Hey Powder, you still here? I'm still here. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm bringing your car back to you, the parking spot where you can park your car. Yeah, um, Doofy, can you meet me at, uh, Pillbox? Oh, I'm at Pillbox, parking at the yeah. Pillbox back. I'm taking one of the guys from the 1080 to Pillbox. Okay. It's for himself, so going to rock the drive, chasing this black hatchback. Stop firing now. Where are you at, Dagmar? Oh, Mina. downstairs. Alright, I'm going to take second air. We're heading uh, to the Rockford Drive, eastbound. Taking a left, merging off to Callis Ave. Yeah. In northbound. I'll buy a right. Is that a good timer? In the southbound is Boulevard. I'm going off roading. Okay. On to, I think that's the port, so. Oh, I'm headache and check that jump if you need to. Oh, by the way, uh, the one if thing happened, job, she, got taken, she got in shot first. On Alta that, Street. That could have been more... Uh, they're going to be heading southbound Alta Street. Oh, I don't know what Second happened with again. that situation. I don't want to figure out why, who the hell painted a police car, because, uh, that's, uh... Heading eastbound, Carson Ave now. Still heading eastbound. Uh, it says traffic. Can you uh, depot it? Traffic. Or do you want me to drop off to the station? Yeah, try depoting it. I put it away, but Carson it's not doing shit. Now. Box a minute. Uh, it does not work either. It's gonna be uh, yeah, do another right it. turn. Be on Covent Ave. Heading westbound through the alleyways. It's not working. Right next to. Uh, oh wait, um, let's. Box. Can I take it to an ocean? Oh, but let's let it. On the Davis Ave, heading westbound. Powder. Hold on. Alright. So heading westbound, heading to Ave, going to be merging onto the freeway, taking the exit. Uh, we're going to be merging on to standby. Take it to the ocean, dump it in. You might want to check to see if they left so anything in first. Ave. Oh, Dutch Lane Street, don't need to Dutch Lane Street, eastbound. Nothing in the trunk. Check the glove box. I didn't put nothing in it, so. Going all over lane. Go dump the fucker in the ocean. Actually, no. Leave it Letting here. Leave it here. Next street. I got something better. Next to the compound. Next to Jamestown. Right, you got a copy. Still now heading eastbound Dutch London Street. Taking a left. It cried. Do you have a copy? On to Dutch London. Oh, we're just approaching on to Dutch London Street back. Oh, I just. Hey, I'm not the monster who who would leave my cars <laughs> out there. On the Ready, was bad person out now. I learned that a hard way as the EMS not to lead him. Can you meet me in the back behind the ambulance drive? Heading northeast, Carson Ave, still right side of the traffic, high speed. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Potter. You're uh, merging onto Ennis Boulevard, heading westbound. Oof. Two and a half minutes on pit time. Still got three. We're now on to Adam uh, Boulevard heading northbound. Uh, we got the cows on the For sure. Then for Taking a right. Getting eastbound, Sandra's out. 
We'll be passing Red Garage and Green Bank. We're gonna be going lower or San Jose Ave in eastbound. We're taking a left onto Elgin Ave. Heading northbound, we're gonna be passing Pillbox now. Still heading northbound Elgin Ave, we're passing over Delta the Freeway. Now emerging onto the main street, following on the left, the Spanish Ave heading westbound. Still westbound Spanish Ave, going in and out of lanes. Still westbound Spanish Ave. Taking a left onto Milton Road. Bound, followed by another left, we're going to be merging on to Howick Ave, heading eastbound. Passing the bank next to uh, Ellis Customs. Heading eastbound, Howick Ave. Dagmar. What's up? You need to go through the building to get up front? Oh, no, no. I can Are you going to grab a car? Howick Ave. I can just... Right now. I can... On to Elgin Ave. No, you, like, disappeared for some reason. Oh, no, no, no. I was right here. Now, no, southbound, ooh, almost 1050, but, uh, 1050, but cool. Oh, no. No. That was actually, All right, I'll, yeah, that was actually glitch. Alright, I'll see you later. We're making a right turn at Westboat, Adam Zeppelin. Making a right turn, northbound. 5 p.m., Power Street. Making a left turn now, westbound, to Switchy Boulevard. Okay, second, you can go ahead and take off. Oh. Just pass with garage, what's bound to switch boulevard. Still what's bound to switch. Uh it's time for your quit for a bit. Let's see. We're now merging onto South Rock for drive, doing a right hand turn sharp, uh okay. heading northeast, center out. Yeah. So eastbound on out. Nice pit. Oh, break check. Oh, the break check, break check. We're doing a U turn on Sandra's Ave heading westbound, right in between uh, Red Garage and Green Bank. I'm gonna try to put him here if he tries and turns. Done for. We're doing a left on the Callis Ave heading eastbound. Now facing southbound Callis Ave, we press it to move. Turn on college. Small, kind of tiny, but I think. Tiny, tiny. Hold on. Yeah, he's gonna be doing switch. Again, now. Hold on. So tell you some of your charges. Surround it. Box him in. Sweet. Another view can interfere. A tenacious. Someone shot out fire from that Shelton. That Shelton just opened fire one time. Don't block her. Alright, we're going to be, oh, we're going to be merging on to upper lower power, oh, 22, 22, we're on lower part of the freeway. Shit, he went the other way, he went the other way. Turn around, he went lower, he went lower. I He's still going car. lower, um, fucking Blue Puerta. Northbound, I stalled. I fucking stalled, uh. I'm dead, I fell on my car. Yeah, we've used to beat, but he was last seen going um, lower the part of the freeway north. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a we buy his open fire. Doofy, uh, was the salt in that open fire? What? Was it the salt in that open fire? No, it was a white vehicle. I don't know where it went though. Then, yeah. Well, might have been that white vehicle from earlier that it was uh, opening fire on police. It was a Sheldon. Try to turn around. Yeah, we've uh, yeah. we've ECB bought six and the area ran on. And for this vehicle, uh, yes, somebody I'm check customs. It. Somebody check LS customs. This vehicle stopped in front of Uwood. You guys want to come impound it? Wait, is Benny's now open? 
Can I get 32? Is that Uber, please? Hold on. 1997. This guy's in red solid and said don't touch the vehicle, so just keep it on. You're invading my space, shit sucker! Oh fuck! How long do you want to impound it for? Do you want to do it real quick? Will you set a timer now? Set timers on your impounds now? That's a depot. I'm talking about impound. You don't want to impound it? Well, for like three days? We can do the paperwork later, yeah. For how long? A day? Yeah, tr uh, three days, yeah. Yes. I don't know who the owner is, do you? I can't get a license put off this fucking thing. Well, if, if you can't, then. Yeah, you won't impound it, okay. So you can, if you have your radar active in your car, you probably should be able to, right? I'm checking it right now. Santiago Suarez. Alright. Let me, uh, uh. It's 4FM 544CB, Santiago Suarez. Is there anyone involved not, uh, not involved in that 1080 right now? You spell Suarez, S O A R E S? Uh, S O A R E S. Um, yeah, 10 4 to 1080, we VCB'd, so we're, we're all back 1080. You still have the license plate, sorry. But, uh, can one of you come down to the cells? You guys are close. Yeah, t 10 4, I'll be on my way back there in shortly once I. 75, can I get a unit to uh, pick me up from a particular way? It seems like the US is uh, an RS1. Yeah, 10 4, um, well, I'll, I'll pick you up, then I'll be 97 MRPD. Alright, 10 4. What up? What? What up? What? Are you lower or on the freeway? I'm uh, top, top, top. You're right here, I see you. I see you. There's the EMS here, I think, so... Oh, they didn't know. I don't even know what Is it Glock or Class 1 or 2? Class... Is what? It's gonna be a Class 1. It's, a Glock is a Class 1, but with attachments is a Class 2. Wait. 
Unitude 97 to pillbox at one down officer. Hello? Yeah. What's going on? Oh, you know. Chatter. This man being arrested? Uh, he's getting a lawyer. Oh, that sucks. Did you request one already? Yeah, they, they should be coming. Wait, 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 here's one question. You know, there is an ma anti-mask law somewhere in the thing. Yeah, you can take his mask off. Chatter, take your mask off. No need me. Uh, there he is. Why, why is he... Why is well, he I can take, right I can take it off for you. I can take it off for you. Alright, I'm gonna go get the lawyer. So I can uncopy. God damn, you already did. What's your name, sir? Oh, cool. Okay, you're cool. Alright. Yeah. Uh, this is. Do I have a question for you? Check. Uh. You are in the cell? Yeah. Okay. Uh, before I speak to him, could you give me a. At least of his charges, please. Yeah, I got you. He got criminal possession of stolen property. Um, his so at the moment it's attempted murder. Okay. Hey, what the? What's up, Dagmar? Not too much. Mhm. Oh, I was. There's been a. There's been a few instances lately where. All right. An attorney's come down for a cell call and hasn't had enough to charge somebody, but because the attorney. Confuses a few of the officers, like they've been just letting people go. So I'm gonna kind of come to sell calls for a while and just oh, give you guys some ammo. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, uh, definitely. <clears throat> I'll start right, calling so what's your big name? words. So I get confused myself. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna send you an invoice of 250 right now before we can start any kind of conversation. All right? Yeah. Shit, I wasn't here. I'm just. What's up? I got you. So basically, they were in a cop car. They were in a 1080. When I like showed up, there were shots fired, and so they were shooting at us. And then Dawson was returning. Um, and then they 1050 would and Cheddar was downed. Um, but he's saying that Dawson opened fire first, and they were just returning fire. And he said Dawson was shooting to kill. That's why he was downed. Um, but Cheddar's the only one that I, that I got, so. And then there was a guy in another car that was, that was shooting at me when I was trying to get Cheddar, but I think everyone else got away besides, besides him. Yeah, I, I called for him. Yeah. Who's, the, who's the arresting officer? Hey. Me. Alright, perfect. Alright, Barry. Yeah, 10 no, four, to get Ozzy picked up, we're on the way back now. What up? It's gonna be long day. Well, that's if we make it a long day. Doofy, you got a copy? Yeah, what's up? My 22 that powder? Yeah, what's up, powder? I have arrived.
this uh, call right now, but I'll be mm. gonna be at the ground. I was going to win this. Okay. Why don't you do an hour and seven minutes of DOJ too? Uh, uh, this gentleman, uh, the I'll yeah, show you yeah. next time when you fly back in. Oh, okay. But I, a few passengers hit him with aiding and abetting. Oh, no, no, no. He was stolen a cop car. But he wasn't the driver. Correct? Yeah, so Grant Theft Auto B. Grant Theft Auto B, okay. Yeah, so My bad. Off the stolen property and amend that to Grant Theft Auto B and let's go talk to him again. And if he wants to argue about that, I mean, aiding and abetting, he was actually involved. He was right, in exactly. Vehicle, so. Yeah, I mean, add aiding and abetting too. Well, aiding and bending itself is more of a clause in the charge itself, I think, unless they change that. So you said Grand Theft Auto B? Yeah, so take off criminal possession of stolen property. I've added Grand Theft Auto B just now. I haven't saved it, so maybe you can do that instead, actually. So add Grand Theft Auto B, take off stolen property. Yeah, you're right. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we can, I mean if, if he pushes back about wanting Grand Theft Auto B, just say, I mean, we could put Rexus of on there if you want to as well. Or we could just right. leave it at Grand Theft Auto B, so... I, w I would I would push back saying we could add reckless evading onto it, but we haven't, so let's take it or leave it. Okay, yeah, I just I just changed it. You know they say that if you're the passenger of the vehicle, the way to cut them brakes if they tell you where their friends are at. Sorry, who's this? That's a lawyer. I'm the district attorney assistant. Oh, sorry, apologies. By the way, you, you know if they I'm yeah, not so Oh, sir, sir, can I can I ask you something? Who me? Yeah. Just call me Dawson. Dawson. Dagmar, All right, Dawson. Hey, what's Did you call to Dagmar? What up? We're in Shells right now. Um, yeah, make sure you guys go to himself. Yeah, Dagmar, what you, what you saying? Oh, like I was saying? Uh, shouldn't they try to... If you you could promise to cut one of their charges off for their location of their friend who was driving the vehicle. No, I mean, you won't yeah, as well. Do that. But you probably won't do that. Yeah, I I'd it. say for now, call just go up to him and say, look, uh, stolen property is actually granted auto B. And if okay. they say, well, he was not the driver, then just say, well, we took off reckless evading, so 
um, we could also put on reckless baiting and if he pushes back I mean you know the aiding and abetting clause is there which covers anybody who's involved in that crime is also guilty of that crime you know yeah I guess gotcha. okay. Did someone call me out? So I'm trying to figure out what's up with the uh, one time I was like flew in. You know what happened? What? Oh, one of the one of the police officers got in, shot up as uh, what you gonna call it? Well, they were in. Uh, that was, was in the car and they got shot up. By that was south of here. Got shot up by some criminals at the tuner shop south. Oh, dude. Well, in that case, I mean, if you guys couldn't catch them, you know, body cam. No, 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 no. I wasn't there, so uh, okay. I flew in when that happened. Oh. So lots of chaotic things happened while I was, flew was in the city. Yeah, they, got, yeah. they got upset, and then they, a few hours later, they got flew out because someone took their car and stuff like that. Even more and more chaotic when, before I get into the city. What's up with that? Oh, I uh, got you. Your uh, your voice box sounds a lot clearer. Yes. Oh oh oh! I'm ready for my uh, what's it called? The training? Yeah, you want that thing? Perfect. I was just but, gonna, that's why I came over here. I oh, by the way, I was pra I was practicing uh, as well. Uh, oh. You're trespassing. Can you go ahead and step behind the uh, fence? Thank you, thank you. Oh, by the way, I was practicing my driving skills in the city so I don't get the company charged with lawsuits, but then I was looking at other people, they was not obeying by the law, too. I was, a bit, I was following the traffic speeds in the city. That's... So you're following the speed limit? Yeah, yes. No, I was practicing how to drive out there, so I was responding to a call yesterday. <laughs> to a lawyer call Dagmar, at the courthouse. Dagmar, Dagmar. Listen, uh... Is that, is that why you got strike? Yes. You yeah, just... You're, you're still cadet. Even solo cadets cannot drive the vehicles, so... Oh, no, no, I was using the company's car, so I was obeying by the street laws, traffic laws, stopping and going with the flashy lights. Not Wait, were you 10-7? I was too late. Okay, Responding see, to the car. Why. I mean, and you can't you can't be 10-8 and, and respond to a, car, uh, a call while you're a cadet. Like, even even if you're using... Like, oh, no, no, I was... Whatever vehicle, you, I was, you have to be... You you cannot you cannot drive a vehicle ever. Oh no, I was responding to the but the as a piece said, but then the lawyer the ex lawyer man was yelling at me for responding to the SOP said says but then I was trying to tell him nicely that he's not supposed to be there, but they got angry and started doing verbal saying like could I not do that. I'm like but I was listening reading my SOPs as what the protocol says about how to handle the situation. Yeah, I mean, I understand that, but also in the SOPs it says you are not allowed to drive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. I mean, but everyone the, makes mistakes. But the lawyers wanted help at the courthouse at that time. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Even even if you see, listen, even if you see someone uh -huh. like getting shot up right down there, uh -huh. you are not allowed to pull out your vehicle uh -huh. because you're not. You are not. You're just simply not allowed to. You're a cadet. All right, I'm ready you, to pass my test. 
What was that? I'm ready to do the test. From all the things, all, all the things I learned this whole week, that about the uh, call it and how disrespectful they was being to cadets, the other uh, the criminals. I rather already pass my A1 test okay. because of, of everything I experienced the whole week of how they treated and disrespect cadets. I ready to pass. And do you think you're uh, think you're seasoned enough? They beat you up a little bit. No, 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 actually, I learned from going out there and talking to the lawyers and and interacting with the people. I'm trying to, trying to, I'm trying to learn about the what's the one thing that the SOP says. Oh, the priest, the I try, I'm trying to get my verbal warnings up up there. I can't. That's okay, okay. that's the one thing I'm struggling, sir, about my verbal warnings. Your verbal, your like what the how do you use the force? Yeah, the verbal one, the verbal, the how do you say certain things, how they was doing stuff. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta, you know, just make yourself known. Um, so be like, hey, for, I don't know what your number is, I'm gonna be honest, but for me, it would be like, hey, my name is 395, or I wouldn't even say my, my name is Ozzy Mo with LSPD. Uh -huh. And then from there, uh, just just how just how they react to it, and then you just adapt, you know, your language. Uh -huh. So, uh, if I pass, once I pass my tin codes and whatever, can I work on my vocabulary thing? So here, let me tell you what happens at the ten codes. So after you pass the ten codes, how much it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same as I asked you earlier. So I, I really hope you memorized what I told you. Yes. So so right after those ten codes, it's gonna be your SOP portion, and after you pass your SOP portion, it'll be an MDT portion, and then from there, uh, we'll determine if you pass or fail the, uh, the exam. Oh no, no, I'm really good with the MDT thing. It's fine. I, I just want to know because uh, about your SOP. So oh uh, like, no, my. The thing is, remember all those numbers. They're really bad at math. You're good. There shouldn't be any math related things. I'm really good at. So, let's say I'm really good at one thing and I'm really bad at one thing. So. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, go ahead and uh, meet me up at the, uh, at the uh, helipad. Alright. You know, the one that we saw last time. Uh, Alright, can we go somewhere else? Because lots of people, there could be lots of people talking soon. I might have uh, need no, to. No, there's, there's not going to be anyone. Alright, I turn off my radio so they won't distract me as much. Yeah. Um, ma make sure to change. Yeah, make sure you change your radio and uh, go 10 7. And I'm, when you I am 10 7. You, okay, go back to 8 and then switch back the radio to 1. No, no, and no. Then, no, no, um, no. Go uh, ahead. I turn off my radio. radio. Yeah, go, go ahead. I know you turned off your radio. Go ahead, turn it back on. And then go ahead and make a call out that you're going to be going 10-7 um, for your A1 test. Oh my god. I'm going 10 I'm going 10 for a couple of minutes. Uh, no, for your A1 test. For my A1 test. Alright. This is here. I'm going to let you know what a test question is on the SOP push. It's going to be... Uh, there's gonna be a test question. It's gonna say, "What is something that you say before you start each transmission?" Uh huh. And it'll be your call sign. It's, it's on the ten codes. You, you, so just just always remember before you transmit anything. Uh huh. You always have you always see like before I try like my try my best, and I'm pretty good. Like 99 percent of the time, I'm gonna have before I transmit something, I'm gonna be saying 95 because that's my call sign. So yes. right there, you just said I'm gonna be blah blah blah. Uh huh. And they're gonna be like, "Who's on?" So just always make sure to uh, add your calls on, okay? Yes. All right, nice. All right, go ahead, uh, meet me up there. All right. <gasps> Do you like going now?
Am I going to heat? Then sixty four. What up? All right, Dagmar. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and uh, begin the ten code section. Yes. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you studied. You know, I have really have a hard. I have this one of the disabilities that make it harder for me to learn. What's the disability called? A learning disability. What is it? Asperger's. Sometimes I do something that's way too much impulsive. Or something that I always do some, something that's always the same thing. You can win some. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. All right. Um, if you need anything repeated, uh, anything, anything like that, just go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, give you some more time, if you need it. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Here we go. You are about to leave MRPD parking lot. A person runs up to you and asks you to help them unimpound their car. What ten code will you use? What ten code? I'll ask. I'll ask for a supervisor. Seven B one. Okay. Next question. Why you? You go on duty, and you need someone to ride along with. What radio code will you use for a ride along? Uh, ten twelve. Respond to a house robbery. What radio code do you use when you arrive on scene? Uh, Ten, zero, ten, twenty-three. Oh, you know one thing I just learned about one of the one of the radio posts before. I was out there at the courthouse yesterday. The person was disrespecting. I had to call in for backup because they was too much for me to handle. So I learned how to use ten thirty twos right there. Okay. All right. Next question. Uh -huh. You're about to go off duty. What ten code will you use on the radio? Ten forty-two keyword off duty not not out for the day it's, it's a little confusing yep there you, go. you have a suspect in custody and he runs away while handcuffed what radio code will you use suspect. 1070 but you say something on radio uh -huh. but then you realize it's no longer valid and you want everyone to ignore what you just said what radio code will you use ignore why would not want people to ignore Forget that. Forget that, or something. Okay, let me say it one more time. You say something on radio, but then you realize it's no longer valid. You want everyone to ignore what you just said. 
what radio clip will you? Uh, 1020, 1020 to you. Alright. You witness a vehicle collide with a tree. What radio code will you use to describe the event? 1050. At the same scene, you see that the driver was ejected from the vehicle and is incapacitated. You recognize that you need to call paramedics for help. What radio code will you use? Oh, that's 1050 to you. Okay. What that. What should you start every radio transmission with? Why are you giving me the sheets? Uh, call sign slash... Call my class at 950. Okay. You are about to... Be, oh, I'm sorry. You are pulling over a blue four-door Nissan for an illegal U-turn. What radio code will you use at the start of your transmission after you have set your badge number? 1011. You, you need to find out if your radio is working. What radio code will you use? 1012. I mean, 10 to you. Yes, 10 to you. Okay. You witness a person being sexually assaulted. What radio code will you use to report the incident? 1064. Another officer requests backup at a bank robbery. What radio code do you use to tell them that you are on your way to help? 1097. You are conducting a felony stop on a vehicle that was recklessly evading you. What signal code will you use? Signal code... Code 5. But... Wouldn't that be more... Yes, code 5. Next question. You are at the car dealership. When you hear gunshots go across off the street, uh, what radio code will you use to report the incident? 1013s. But when did you get 1013s and 10... 10 32s if it gets escalated. Oh, you should always call for 1032s if you hear shots, you, uh, shots going but, off. But, but it says, you know, yes, but this, but you said to ask me to answer 10, 10 13s, okay. but that's 1032s as well. Well, it's not, well, that's not what it's asking. It's just asking what the code is for the shots fired, basically. <laughs> it's not asking for additional units or nothing like that. It's just. What's the radio code for shots fired? And, and you answered correctly, so then. Yep, don't worry about it. Uh, you are in a traffic stop with a red Ford pickup truck when suddenly it speeds away from you. What radio code will you use now that you are in a vehicle pursuit? Vehicle pursuit 1080s. Okay. You lose sight on the pickup truck and you decide to search around the area. What signal code will you use? Signal code. Ten six. No, I mean, code six. Okay. An officer uses the radio to find out if the radio is working. What radio code do you respond? Uh, that's ten seventy four or seventy six. Which code is it? Is it seventy four or seventy six? A supervisor over the radio says 10-3. What are they saying? 10-3. Uh, 10-3 is quiet down. Or hush down. Uh, here, I'll give you another... Give me, like, another word for 10-3. Not, not quiet down. Stop transmitting. Okay. If someone, uh, if someone radio calls you directly, but you're otherwise occupied, what radio code will you use? Ten six. You've just placed someone under arrest. Mirandize them and put them in your car. You're about to, you're about to drive back to the station. What radio code will you use? Ten fifteen. You get mobbed by civilians punching and kicking you. You hit your panic button. What is the ten code associated with the panic button? Oh, 1099. You see two individuals engaging in a drug deal. What signal code will you use on the video? Drug deal? Hmm, no. 1017. Uh, 1017? Is that the right code? One sec. Beep. 
All right. Next question. Yes. All right. Uh, you seen intoxicated persons stumbling around Legion Square? What radio code will you use to report the incident? Ten fifty six. You arrive on scene. Uh, you arrive on scene of a homicide. What radio code will you use? Ten forty nine. Yes. All right. You went. You got a hundred percent on. Uh, well, you you passed uh, the uh, the ten codes. Okay, we're about to move on to that. Please just give me one second, right? Uh, Good job. You're doing great. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to patrol up north? <sighs> All right. So here we go. Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. All right. <clears throat> List the ranks of your department from cadet to chief or sheriff. There's... So, if I go by... So, what type of ranks do you want me to go by? There's... I want you to go... I want you to go from the first rank all the way to the highest rank of your department. There's cadet, solo cadet, deputy, senior deputy, master. There's corporal or... Uh, deputy two, uh, deputy three. I mean deputy three. I mean, there's sergeant, there's lieutenant, captain, commander, major, under sheriff, and sheriff. Yes. Is that correct? All right. Uh, next question. List the ranks, names, and departments of each alpha. A1 Skid, uh, Max Skidmore, uh, LS ASAP, that's that. A2, no one that is currently that. A3, Brownie Johnson of the S SAP. I think they said it correctly. Uh, it's it's going to be S A S P. That's, That's a SAP. SAP. Isn't that what it I says? S A A S P. It says SAP. Yeah, just go ahead. Like, you know, we're not going to say L S P D as in less than Dibba. We're just going to say L S P D or B C S O. We don't say B C. We don't say B C O. Or we don't. We don't just. We don't. Just uh, go ahead and just say S A S P. I'm sorry. All right. No, you're good. You're good. I was reading how it was saying. Sorry. Then there's a. F wait, 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 can you go back to A3 and tell a me what his rank, name, and department is? Oh, he's assistant commissioner of the ASA. I mean, ASSP. Brownie Johnson. Okay. A4 Sheriff Reese Moore of the BCSO. A5 okay. Under Sheriff. Dakota Woods, BCSO. A6, Chief of Police, Cameron Dancer, LSAPD. Rank 7, A7, or Rank 7, what is this called? Assistant Chief of Police, Del Hart, LSPD. Is that correct? Yeah, that was good. Alright, give me one sec. Yes. Alright. How many strike points can an employee accumulate before getting a three-day suspension? 
Ten. A demotion. Fifteen. An administrative hearing. Twenty. And a termination. Twenty-five. Oh, question: How come I did? How come I gotten a hearing before I get the ten points? Uh, you didn't get a hearing. Uh huh. When I was no. when I went out to help out the lawyers out there. Um, uh, you didn't get a, a hearing. Would be actually inside of the uh, Discordia, with alphas, and command team. Oh, and they would wow. have to have to talk to you. Oh, oh, those are two differences. Um, if you get striked, we typically just go ahead and tell you why you got striked and what you need to work on, so you don't get striked again. Oh, That's okay. not a hearing. It's just but, just letting you know. But what you I've been out there to help out the help out the lawyers because those guys need please to be around them or for us to show that we are around to help them out too. Yeah, I understand that, but again, you drove your vehicle while being a cadet, and, and we've, to we've told everybody multiple times not to drive while the cadet, so that's why you went ahead and gotten striked. That's fine. It's all good. Um, I got I got striked five points as a cadet. Um, I should have been fired, because when you reach that high, it, like being a cadet, you are more of not an officer but more of a uh, you're an officer but you're more of like a uh, what's the word you're on a trial you're on a trial period but, where, uh, but some places I read that cadets can respond to certain calls but they can't pull people over but they can't no that's that's incorrect uh, that's I don't that's nowhere in the SOPs oh, okay. you know I want you to try to change that to be more professional when they revive to certain calls like to courthouse they can I just want to try to change that up so it'd be more welcoming for a cadet to be at the courthouse and as well as MRPD. No, so cadets, they must listen to higher officers than them. They, yes. it's a must. They cannot do anything with by themselves. Anything like, really anything they can't do with that by themselves unless it's like common sense where you guys are chasing a suspect and you go ahead and arrest them. I mean that's something there, there. But you should always be having a supervisor officer telling you what to do, so you can you know get the hang of it and you can become a good officer. Because you, you can't, you're not going to follow the SOPs if you're learning by yourself. Okay. So that's why we, we typically just have people helping you out. Um, we, we do that with every single cadet. No, no, no. The one thing I learned so far about that the incident that happened that I learned that I should learn how to to speak more verbally people yeah i i understand like you know as you told me you have a, a disability so i mean i understand what you're saying i understand where you're coming from um but they do i actually try to over talk you and then just yell at you just for trying to help out and that's kind of being hard on that wait, wait are you saying that you would be yelling no 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 they like i said the person was yelling at the person because they try to see that they what they was doing was right and what they was, the other people so it was wrong that's unprofessional an officer should never be see listen listen so what i mean when when you see things like like announcements on the discordia about professionalism uh, I've been speaking we're not talking about listen here listen listen, listen. Mm -hmm. um basically what we're talking about uh -huh. this is coming from a captain like i'm a captain i'm gonna tell you what we're looking for okay uh -huh. basically we're not looking for anyone to mess around while in front of civilians oh, no. so that would be tackling other officers or you know, just goofing off. Oh. That's unprofessional. Oh, um, I, like, I we're not saying that you do it. I, I know you try to remain professional at all times, but I'm just saying like that's what the word means. It doesn't mean, um, you know, what the lawyers think. No, like, no, I no, no. That. It, you don't. You, like I was reading the whole SOPs. They said to not embarrass yourself in front of other people, even including the people who makes the laws as well. So don't embarrass yourself amongst those people too. So if you embarrass yourself right there in front of them and the other people, they can will actually make they make your they make the company look bad. Um, yeah, I I guess, but I, I think uh, what I think is happening is you're taking it too literal. Um, um, it's more of just like just don't like don't be a dumbass, you know, like that. Just with everybody, like some people are being dumbasses here and there, and they're um. They're just goofing off. We, uh, that's what we typically want. It's not really about the lawyer part. Yes, I, don't really want to, I, don't want, I don't want to goof off in front of the people are trying to protect in the whole city. I want to try to improve them then train to say, hey, look, I'm trying to learn how to become a better officer while trying to respect the 
whatever you know, you guys have in this piece. Oh, can we move Understood. on to the next question? Yep. True or false, a police officer can be sued for excessive use of force. That's true. <clears throat> State the five times an officer must mark themselves 10-7 out of service on the MBT. Off duty, meeting, processing, training, break. What are the weekly minimum hours work day? Eight hours. And a sergeant? Ten hours. What rank must you clock in 12 hours per week minimum? The captain. What rank do you qualify for an RRU? Sergeant. And the bike, sir? S Sergeant. True or false, a police officer can conduct a GSR test without consent while they have reasonable suspicion. That's true. What vehicles do officers get access to when they get promoted to lieutenant? Oh. Um, um, also, can you tell me what certifications are required with those vehicles? Uh, bus. Right? Is I cannot tell you if you're right or wrong. Just keep going. You, you're good. A bear cat. Okay. Air one. Okay. What are the certifications required with these vehicles? FTO for bus. Mm -hmm. SWAT for Bearcat. Mm -hmm. Flight training for Air One. There's another word for it. I can't say that word. Go ahead, give me give me your best shot. Uh flight certification. You have to tell me the, the full word. There's just one word. Uh, it starts with an A. Uh, uh, okay, nice. 76. Huh? What, what's the next question? Ooh, I'm I'm sorry, guys. Can you guys go ahead and take it one more channel up? Uh, we're able to test it in. Oh. Next question. All right. Go, go, uh, Doofy, they're on channel 3. You're good, you're good. Alright, what equipment is P1? A1, A1. A1? Right. What, what, sorry, I was responding on radio. What equipment is a P1 officer required to carry at them at all times? A G17, a flashlight, spikes, taser, heavy armor. Advantages, nightsticks, evidence bag, a radio, handcuffs, and surgical kits. Is that surgical kits? Sur suture kits. Suture. Surgical kits? Uh, I guess so, yeah. I mean, they they do the same thing as each other. Alright, next question. Explain the weapon classes and give an example of each one. Class 1, P99. Class 2 shotgun, class 3 AR. But, uh, but, what didn't, uh, semi, what didn't SMG classified as a class 3 uh, instead of class 1? Uh, you, you, uh, listen, you didn't finish the question. Yeah, it'll answer the question that you just asked now. Explain the weapon classes. Like, explain what a class 1, class 2, and a class 3 is. Like, class not, not what they are, but just what, it, what are they? Oh, class 1 is a normal pistol. Okay. That and it shoots guns and it's not okay. like the micro. It's not like automatic pistols. Just okay. What's a class two? Oh, so class two would be something that is like shoots more than a couple shots, like more than one shot. Like a that's not like a sniper rifle. It's like a magnum, but a magnum is considered class three. And then there's these are it's okay. equal. You're good. Are, you're good. I, I see what you're saying. You're yes, good. these are equal to consider a class three, but it's class okay. three. Class what, two. What's a class three then? My God, if you ask that question, I would give you a full list, and it'd be like, geez, you should have give us a full list. It'd be like a Gooseberger, Gusenberg. 
No, 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 not what a gun is. Like, what, like, don't tell me what a gun. Like, what makes a class three identified as a, gla a oh. class three? Oh, yes, a Gusenberg is actually a semi, is a automatic weapon that sprays. All right, so that's what makes it a class three, right? Because it yeah. sprays and it's automatic. Yeah, it sprays a whole bunch of bullets at the same time. You're good. You're good. All right, explain what demerit points are, <laughs> and how many points can a driver have before having their license revoked? Fifteen points. If you get 15 points, if you, you know, 15 points. Okay, explain what demerit points are. Traffic violations, speeding, reckless driving, DUI, and... Okay, when, how would you hand them out? You, you, how do you hand them out? Yeah, how do you identify that this person needs a, like, some demerit points on the record? Oh, you, you pull up your, your, uh, whatchamacallit on your keyboard? Your plate scanner. First, you use a plate scanner and see how fast the vehicle is going, right? And you can see the speed limit on the plate scanner. And if they okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, uh, you're good, you're good. Um, kind of, it was it, it, you kind of went a little bit off topic. We we weren't asking like the speed limit, but it's okay, you're good. Um, next question. What? Explain what a code five stop is. And give an example of when you'd perform one. If I stop. So get, the, 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 just explain. All right, the first question. Explain what a code five stop is. A code five stop is a felony stop. If the person on the plate is the same thing as those on the MDT, that would be a code five. You'd be, you'd be requesting for 1032s for this this high chance of a shootout. You, you have a high okay. chances of getting shot at a traffic stop too. Alright, when would you perform one? Give me an example of how a, 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 a code 5 stop would be in your eyes. Like, tell me you're, you're driving all alone. How uh -huh. would a felony stop, how would you conduct one? And when would you perform one? Oh, that's a hard one. How would I perform one? Yes. Oh, if I if they want it, I can. I would ask them to step out the car, with the hands up. I come. I would ask them, can they turn off the radio, and can I search the vehicle if they did, you know, traffic stop, routine traffic stop. Oh. The, what is it called? You're good. You're good. Next question: How many rapid response units can be on scene? Two. How many motorcycle units are allowed on duty? One. Yeah, let me read that one more time. How many motorcycle units are allowed on duty? One. Alright, read me my Miranda rights. You have rights to remain silent. Anything you can say and do can be used against you in a court of law. If you can have to have an attorney, if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of sanitary is for free. Do you understand the rights that have been read to you today? If you forgot to Mirandaize someone, can you still charge them or do you need to let them go? You can still charge them. Alright, what is a Terry Frisk and explain how to perform one. Uh, what is a Terry Frisk? Oh, a Terry Frisk is... Oh, if you... What is a Terry Frisk? Yes. Oh, if the person is at... Oh, let's say that if I see someone doing any criminal activities I or if they're wanted, I can ask them to put their hands up to the side and I'll search my hands into their little pots in their pockets to see if they have any contraband and anything that would violate the parole. That's how you okay. perform a Terry Frisk currently. So would you would you uh, arrest them if they had three grams of coke? Yes. What about one gram of coke? Yes. The, what uh, are you talking about? Coca Cola or Coke? Cocaine. We're talking about we're talking about <laughs> coke. Yes. What is reasonable suspicion, and what does it permit you to do? One minute. 
when the uh, office when uh, there's a you mean reasonable suspicion? Yeah, what is reasonable suspicion? Huh. An officer has a suspect or is escaping comment committed a crime based on constitution. It's intuitions. Based on intuitions. Jeez, Kiko. Okay. Could you give me an example of like a scenario of reasonable suspicion? Oh yes. If if you're out there, right? And if you if the shots on your on the locals have that report if the shots from the locals report it that the person mm -hmm. has gunshots, you uh, use your flashlight, inspect the air just inspect the area, and you talk to the people. It would lead up to a uh, it would lead up to a GSR test and a Terry Frisk of the situation. To check if they committed the crimes that was in the area. Okay, can you give me? Mm. Hold on. Huh? Could you, could you give me the definition of Terry Frisk? Of reasonable suspicion. Because this is a really, really, really big portion of your test. If, if you do not pass this one, then then you will fail the whole test. Why would I fail the whole test? Because reasonable suspicion is a really, really, like, we, we, need, we need to know that. You know, I was, so the reasonable suspicion is detaining, detainment does not necessarily mean you have them in cuffs. It's a simple traffic stop from detained because... You have them in your jurisdiction. Yeah. Okay. But then. Wait. Yeah. Just, just keep stay focused. Don't, don't, don't think about anything else. You said detain. All right. Yeah. What else can you do with? What else does it permit you to do? Oh, cherry friskin. Okay. GSR tests. Okay. Um, a background check. All right. Um. Either background check or warrant check. All right, now now go ahead and tell me what reasonable suspicion is. Retry it. What retry? What reasonable suspicion? Re yeah, retry telling me what reasonable suspicion is. Don't tell me about the Terry. You already told me Terry first, G star test, and detain in question. I, I don't I don't need to hear that anymore. Just go ahead and tell me what Terry what, what reasonable suspicion is. Oh, if the uh, if if there is a little. Clips. I'm going to give you a nice example of, okay, if they're about to commit a crime and you spot them and you can interact with them, tell them, you know, start terror frisking them or if they're about to kidnap someone, you can intervene on that. Okay. Yes. Is that going to be your final, uh, don't, don't, I, I really need you not to give me an example more of a definition. Uh, I'm not really good with definitions. Okay. Uh, I don't want to put down to you the whole paragraph of something that something happened and then you get it wrong. I, 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 right now, I need you. I need you to tell me the whole paragraph of reasonable suspicion. <laughs> Reasonable suspicion based on a probability causes requ requires to justify a unlawful arrest, but which give a rise to more fair suspicions. That is a sus suspicion that is a reasonable as opposite to an imaginary or by purely Is that correct? Is that correct in my own eyes? Hey, that my one sec. Oh, it's actually based on the hunch of the person committing the crime, and you get the facts and statements of the person. 
you can do you can do all the GSR tests, other things if they, if you have the hunch and the intuition. All right, can you tell me one more time what you just said? Oh, yes, they, it's, uh, it's a hunch or intuition or mostly about the facts of what happened to you do that if there's a hunch, you can pretty much arrest them and breathe them the Miranda rights and Terry Frist them without a pause. Okay, what, what else? And the intuition, you can based on the facts and the intuition about what people says about the facts and, and the stories. Okay, is that it? I, I have a hard time under, learning that. All right. I have to use Google right. to understand what you meant. I'm sorry for using Google. I have to understand if I looking at reading what that means and I'm like, oh, it's a hinge, hunch that if someone does a crime, you have a hunch to pull them over and ask them questions whether are they doing and it, and it would lead up Wait, to what did what did what did Google tell you? Oh. It says uh, if a person was committing a crime, you have full attention you have full rights or enough evidence and facts to frisk them and cherry frisk them for whatever crimes or permitted. And you can legally arrest them for whatever Things or whatever things in your pockets, their pockets, is on what based on the punch. All right. I'm sorry for using Google. All right, I'm acting like I didn't hear you say that. All right. All right. Because any form of cheating would mean automatic failure, but I'm, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear. All right. <clears throat> Here, how about this? If you get the next question correct, I'll pretend like I did not hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry for using Google. You're good. All right, next question. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be the opposite of what this I just said. Uh, it's gonna be opposite of reasonable suspicion. So the question is, what is probable cause and what does it permit you to do? Also, do not use Google, okay? All right. I'm not gonna use Google. Oh, it's, what you said? Was your question? Oh. Okay. I, I, okay, this, uh, do not use Google, okay? All right, I want to use Google. All right, all right. What is probable cause, and what does it determine you to do? Oh, Terry Frisk. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, you can detain a person. Okay, let me read it one more time. What is probable cause, probable cause, not, not reasonable suspicion, probable cause, and what does it permit you to do? Oh, when an uh, uh, when an officer effectively profiling evidence that that the sus suspect has is is going to commit the crime and has the right to search and seize the this I failed. Are you looking at it right now? No. Dagmar, I need you to be honest with me. Okay, it'll be better. For you. No. No. Dagmar? Yes? No? Are you looking at the answers? No. So you did not look, you did not just look up what probable cause was? No. Listen, lying to a commanding officer. No, 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 no. I have to be honest with you. No. Okay. Fine. I will not look at the sheets. Okay, what do you have up on your eyes right now? The screen. Okay, what's on it? Uh, you and me. You have another pair of eyes? No. Are you sure? 
I am sure. Okay. All right. Go ahead and uh, tell me what probable cause one more time. What probable cause is, is a hunch that a person has, is about to commit a crime. He can he can search their vehicles and themselves. Okay. What else can you do? And you can arrest them. You can look at the arrest warrants. Let's check if they have any warrants for their arrest. I mean, you can check with the, you can check anything. I mean, that's just checking the background. You told me that with reasonable suspicion. Yes, the same thing with. Sometimes they can be acting so suspicious that you can we can read you into the others about if they are recently caused if they recently did drugs in the past. Or if they're if they had stolen something like a car, I mean that would just fall under reasonable suspicion. It wouldn't be probable cause. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. I'll go ahead and let you try it one more time, right? Uh, 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 reasonable suspicion. Probable cause. Probable cause is, is you have the you have right to get. Uh, I don't that's the one thing word I need to learn. What, so what is probable cause? Yes. Yes. What is? So you can arrest someone because of the facts, right? I don't know. You told me that. Oh, if you have probable causes or. Okay, let's move on, right? I have a really hard time understanding that one, but I would perhaps when I learn about it on the Google what it means, I perhaps use it more often. What the problem cause is? Well, you, you shouldn't be using Google to. Uh, I was to not learn using the. Use. I was not using Google. No, no, I know, I know. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you're using it right now. I'm saying you shouldn't be using Google uh, to learn the the SOPs. Oh, um, sorry. Google. No, you're good. Google is completely different from what our SOPs usually say. Uh -huh. uh, like, yeah, they, some things might be the same, but. For the most part, it won't. That's why we have study guides and study sheets. Yes, I tried it. I did, did use the study sheets. Okay, all right. All right, next question. How far away must bystanders stay away from an active scene? 35 feet. Or about... Uh, so, let's say we're here, right? They had to stand over where that door is. 45 feet. Is it 45? 45. Alright. Uh, true or false, an officer must hold on to body cam for 5 days. That is true. No, you can hold it. That's, that is true. Alright. What is a GSR test and when may you conduct one? Oh, can we go back to the, oh, can we go back to the last one? Question? Your previous question? Um, true or false, an officer must hold on to body cam footage for five days. But I've watched lots of court TV and that would be false. Lots of court. That would be false, right? Because when I was watching lots of TV that the cops actually had the footage more than months, like three months or more than three months to prove that the court and they built up cases, case files. Okay, so how many, how long are you supposed to hold on the body cam? About almost a month. Alright. One main, oh, okay. Next question. Uh huh. Um, one main officer, uh, oh shit, wrong question. Uh, what is a GSR test and when may you conduct one? You can conduct. When you have suspicious, reasonable suspicions, or in gun, gun residues, like bullet, like bullet powder on your body, you can GSR test them. Gunshot residue, right? Yes. Is that what it's called? Yes. All right. One main officer hard cuff a suspect. When the 
when the suspect is not being cooperative with officers. Okay, give me an example of how they would not be cooperative. When they start tackling the officers in the holding cells. And they try to remove their masks, they keep tackling and tackling and refusal to do that themselves. Oh, right. Now list the five stages of the use of force continuum. Presence, verbal, hand to hand, less lethal, and lethal. Okay, now can you give me an example of each one? Us being in one location, and that's our presence, being in one location to, you know, our location. Being there, right? Yeah, being there. Okay, next. Talking to people. Talking, talking, like, that's yes, talking. Verbal talking, like telling them like what they did and that what they should know to you, that's verbal. Or like orders, right? Like telling them to get down on the ground. Yes. Or, or, I, will, or I will tase them, right? Like, get on the ground right now! Yes. I will tase you! Yes. Okay. Next. Is hand... It's fist. Hand tackle. Next. Oh, uh... What? What's next after that? You said less, uh, you said hand to hand. Now what's next? Uh, non. We don't have non lethal. I mean that's the same thing as less lethal. So uh, what would uh, what would be the example for less lethal? Hmm. Hmm. Teasing them is that non lethal. That's still lethal. Lethal is killing somebody. Yes, but non-lethal would be using tasers, handcuffs, but somehow people break their hands breaking out handcuffs, so... Okay, you're good. So, non-lethal would be which weapons? Handcuff. The... Taser. Okay. That's more friendlier with approach. Being back shotgun, but I can't get okay. that because I'm a too low rank. Mm-hmm. Then that's that's hand uh, is that b a baton? But wouldn't a baton be lethal? Uh, it's it's considered non-lethal. Really, I should. should uh, interesting. All right. Yeah, it's just it's it's supposed to be non-lethal, but in this city, for some reason, it's it, it, it um, kills someone. But yeah. wouldn't a flashlight be not less lethal too? Yes. What, all right. What is lethal then? Every weapon we have in our police force. That's not. That does not. Uh, that can shoot people. I mean, this my taser is a weapon. No, 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 no. The gun. Okay, so which weapons? Pistol, rifle, shotgun. The like class ones and threes, right? Class ones, two, threes. Okay. Next one. Yes. At what speed is it safe to perform a pit maneuver? 100 mile, under 100 miles an hour. And how much time must pass between a pit timer started um, Five before minutes. a pit can be attempted? You know, I actually read up on that, by the way. Okay, and how much time must pass... Uh, wait, wait, wait. How much time must pass between a pit timer being started? 30 seconds. No, 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 no. I'm restarting the question, okay? Uh -huh. At, how much time must pass between a pit timer being started before a pit can be attempted? Five minutes. And how much time must pass between each pit attempt? 30 seconds. Yep, 30 seconds. In a hostage situation, how many demands is a civilian worth? One demand. In an officer? Two demands. In a hostage situation, if the hostage taker is holding a class 3 firearm, what should the officer also be holding in their hand? They said, I watched it on, I read it on the TV and everything else, you know what they said? Match firepower with firepower. But TV is completely different than... Oh, no, no, they said, they said match firepower with firepower. In a hostage situation, are police able to provide cash in a hostage demand? What's that? 
me a hostage should bleh hold on sorry uh, in a hostage situation are police able to provide cash as a hostage demand no what should you do if you're receiving conflicting orders from two supervisors of the same rank? Uh, as for the the higher one. What no. should you do if you receive an unlawful order from the supervisor? Refuse to do th do it and ask for our, a superior. Uh, wait, ask for what's. As for A1. A one, a supervisor, A one, not an A one. We have to follow, we have to follow the chain of command. All right, the supervisor. Okay. So, uh, for example, if it's me, if I said, uh, "Go ahead and kill that person over there," that's a conflicting order, or that's a that's an unlawful order, and you're gonna go ahead and tell my supervisor, which is a commander. Uh huh. So you just have to follow the chain of command. Don't don't go straight to A one or alphas. For example, if it was a major that told you to go ahead and do that, then you would go to Alpha 6, or Alpha 7, and then Alpha 6, and then if you see Alpha 6 doing that, you go to Alpha 5. Just follow the chain of command. Uh-huh. Alright, what is the duty to intercede and report? Prevent the use of reasonable force by LEO and report bias on, on chain of command. All right. How many vehicles are permitted to participate in a vehicle pursuit, and what are their positions? Five. Five vehicles are allowed. No. How many vehicles are allowed? No. Uh, so if there's, depending if they have, depending if they no. have. No, no, no. no there, it's just, it's just how many vehicles are allowed in a vehicle pursuit. There's, there's never a depending if there's five. Blah, blah. Okay. What are their positions? Primary, secondary. Uh, terror. Uh, the, the third one. What's the third one? I was Tertiary. Like, yes, yeah, that one. Okay. Um, I, um, what's that one? The fourth one. Yeah. What does it start with? P. What's the second letter? A. It's the third letter. R. It's the fourth letter. A. Parallel. Yes. Okay, what's the fifth one? A helicopter. Or a bike. It's, it's either one. Helicopter or a bike if they say if they didn't want one, so it'd be helicopter or a bike. Right? Uh, next question. What are the maximum numbers of officers permitted on a car boosting? Four. What are the maximum numbers of officers generally permitted on a scene bearing no extraordinary circumstances? Eight. What are the three requirements an officer needs to use lethal force? Attention now, media threat, weapon device. Shot up at officers. So, um, question. So, is a class? So, is micro SMG considered class two? So, shouldn't it be cl considered class threes? Yeah, it just says it on there because it's broken. They haven't updated the system. I don't want to. So last time they said match fire fire with fire fire. I'm like, are you sure that my weapon can outmatch a SMG? It does not. All right, let's let's go to this 99. They they need help. Oh, that was my go questions. Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we'll we'll come when we come back. Uh, I'll go ahead, tell you just have to go ahead. Do that. I failed on it. Uh. Oh, I'm on duty. Are they in this radio or are they radio free? 
Uh, I'm gonna try to change the music. No, no, Sir, uh, here, uh, you should pull out, uh. Folks, go. Sir, uh. Just, just get me in it. Sir, uh, my advice, we should, you should pull out the. Um. Sir. The uh, ump? Uh, we should, we should pull out the ump so we don't get blasted by that micro SMG. It's going to yeah, shoot us. Are they on channel 3? No, there's... Remember to break remember to break body cam? Uh, yeah, the girl that was... Uh
There's one more when you go straight in and around the corner if you want to grab that one. I can watch uh, the vehicles. Only three so officers down because we got three. Uh, yeah, everyone should be picked up there. All right, you guys want to ride? That's everybody. Gotcha. I'm on my way. I'm on. I was gonna give that other officer a ride, but I guess uh, he don't need it. I'm going in there right now. But how is there? I thought there was only three officers down, because I got two. So there's four officers down, huh? You find it or no? Uh, right, well, there's only three officers that went down, right? Uh, I have one in mine. I mean, how many are in yours? I have two, and he has one. That's three. Uh, four. I have one there's, in mine. You have one in yours, so is there any more than that? Uh, no. I can think of just the four. We, got, or we have four officers total. I have two, you have one. And the officer next to me has one in his car. I asked her if there was only four. All right, let's go. Ten four. Charlie seven is ten thirty five, ten nineteen A plus two ten ninety eight. Uh, ten nine. Who was about to say something over the radio? Uh, no, we were just uh, picking up four officer bodies. Ten four. If y'all want to follow me, all right, yeah, come this way. Come this way. I put the other one in room one, so we'll put one more there and then put the other ones in room two. That way, they're not so close together. Come in.
you want to go ahead and get his equipment, officer? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm already getting him. Uh, oh, shit. I'm good, dude. She's like, uh, I yep. need a complete pocket. Why? Oh, I don't yeah, I'm good. Oh, I did. I didn't need his complete pocket. Yeah, I'm good. Um, pocket there. Sure. Uh, yep, there you go. Uh, hey, can you, uh, before you leave, can you let them out of surgical room, too? Yes, I'm letting people out of room, too, though. You have a taser, Putter? What do you think? Come on. Yeah, I guess no, they stole your taser if you don't have one, because I didn't have a taser on you. They steal I... tasers? The yep. So, uh, hey, there's a taser. So, uh, did you get my weapons? I already put it in with you. Um, I didn't touch your stuff yet. I didn't get a chance. But why didn't... Oh, they stole my harness! No! So, <laughs> you didn't get my stuff off of my person? No, I wasn't... I wasn't no, done yet! Fun. I was working on him! <sighs> Why am I the racing harness? Um, okay, who's the one that was in room 2 that I got the, the assault rifle off of everything? Uh, okay. Did they take my harness? Oh, thank God they didn't. Oh, I just I lost all my stuff. I will pay for it. Don't worry. Just give me a minute, okay? Wait, Dagmar, they took your harness? No, I just see the light. I thought she just took my stuff. Oh, you don't have anything? Yep. I oh, didn't have a chance to get her. Oh, you're good. You're good. Is that all my stuff? That's everything. So... There was no heavy armor, no nothing like that, so... Yeah, they stole all that shit. Fucking piece of shit, bro. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. So, the, so I was reading the real SOPs. They said that cadets supposed to learn how to use Class 3s just in case that happens. But here, we, they said that we're supposed to use the stuff that does not hurt them. But then, like, isn't the time for them to change up the SOPs so we can help out and fight that type of... Then for... Comes? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, basically, with that question, um, you're- Here, come on, walk in the room. You can- I can answer it in a second. My favorite cadet, Ozzy. What's the facts? Where you been at, bro? Oh. Oh. Um, Ozzy oh. of the jungle. What's the Post question? Up in that tree. Uh, thank you, Ozzy. <laughs> yo! Yo! <laughs> um. Hey, get in the- that right. Okay, so. All right, let's go.
right. Just slide me 10, I'll slide you 20 in a few days. <laughs> Hello, Ossifer, ma'am. You gonna slide me? What? Hello. Yeah, 907. How are you doing? Good. Uh, do you know how to do it? Good. Can I have some money? Nope, you better get a job. Oh, can I have a job? You had to go find a job. Oh, where should I get a job at? I don't know. You don't know? Yep. Well, oh, I wasn't done talking to you. I don't need to go talk in here. I need to use this. But... Question. Yes, but the, uh, you know, isn't it, wouldn't it be time for the people to train the cadets how to now. use the other weapons? Because since the they should get more, get more commission. He can make that. Where's where's get more? Apparently they got, right um, they got ambushed. I, I came um, and I only saw parts of it. But the thing yeah. is, um, there was a. a all every single person had a green wait, 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 vehicle wait. and then also a green motorcycle, skip, um, light green. For the green pops. Skip more, skip more, right. skip more. Yeah. Okay. Anna, Anna survived. That should be enough information to bring out the SWAT. They didn't take my body cam green. either. Skip. I got body cam. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but uh, can I have another racing harness? Do we know where these green people live? Uh, negative on my part. Uh, Skidmore, can I ask you something? Front of the head. Yeah, Oh, I was reading the SOPs. It says match firepower with firepower. DSP shooter says not help out. Nothing. Well, you don't have the class They should change up the SOPs, like to the real ones, the cops, real cops. They should train us to use the class threes to defend ourselves. You get class three once you're not a cadet, so cadets won't have them. So they've been looting us. Oh well. Can I have another racing harness? I took yours too? Yeah. Or did you have to see the light? I just see the light. Do I need to have a ba uh, badge on me? I don't have one. No, they took. When I searched her, when I searched her, um, what's it called? The racing harness was already gone. They took hers too. I just didn't have time to get every single bit of her gear. The government almost needs to make that announcement about people taking harnesses off of us. Yeah. Skidmore, do you have a spare harness? I'm. Uh, uh, give me two there. I'm trying to get it back. Hold on. Yeah, I got mine. Yeah. I saw mine. They didn't take mine. I need to go get armor and bandages. Look at it. So he said. Hey, Dagmar, let's go up to the captain's office. Okay, I'll come. Ooh, I don't want to get. I'm gonna hold my hand, it's even better. Uh, I'm coming, Snookums. Don't you ever call me Snookums in your life again? Okay, baby. I'm no. sorry for failing this thing. 
All right, yeah. I didn't actually fail it again. Right? So, unfortunately, you did not pass the, the test. You know, uh, mm. you, you, this could be like this all the time. I really was struggling with those parts of the test. It's okay. I'm just going to tell you what you need to work on, and, and we're going to be fine. All right? No, 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 that, no. That's all. I'm just going to tell you what you need. Just the same thing with 10 codes from last time. Remember, we didn't even get past 10 codes, and you managed to get 100% on the 10 codes. So, so what's so, my passing grade on the others? The digital thing. So the SOPs was required an 85. You got an 81. But so you're just four points away. But, but still, that's like what? A C? No, that's a, that'd be like a, a B. B, B. 85. Uh -huh. Actually, 85 and up is actually an A. But, but why would I fail the thing if I got an... Well, because we have a... We, we're not, yes. We don't really do it by grades, we just do it by, oh, if you get an 85% or higher, you pass the, the section. If you get an 85 or lower... You're talking then, to a person it, with a learning disability, and then you're saying that I have to go back to restudy thing, and then I somehow forget most of the things. I mean, you did a great job remembering the 10 codes. I, yes, I, but I, I had to force myself to learn the 10 codes, now I have to learn something else. Well, I mean, that's how it is as a cop. You have to know how you, you have to know. I mean, you can't just not know stuff as a police officer. That's why we have these tests. Uh-huh. I, I understand it's a little tough. I, I really do. It's the hardest um, one of them all. But, um, but, but, listen. But, you know, like I said before, no, I literally keep failing the same test like four or five times to get it through. So think about that. No, but listen, 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 listen. I am thinking about that. But this is the second time you've taken the test, it's gonna be and you've gone way third. more than than what you did last time. It's gonna be last time third, you didn't get. Back. It's gonna be my third time failing the test. Well, who who took your test? Oh, when did you take your test last? Oh. No, no, no. Like I said last time, I did this a long time ago. I had to. I kept failing the test, so they ended up passing me because I keep failing on the same question that the people keep asking. What is one of the intentions? Whatever that is. Well. Well, here, listen. Uh, I I can't pass you because, we, like a police officer, they they need to know they need to know their stuff. So, like, it's it's like a really like I, I really hate to do this and like uh -huh. say that you did not pass, but I mean it's just a thing like it happens. I I again, like it. So we just I failed it. What I failed I feel it. it a third time. If you fail it the third time, just keep trying. It's fine. Uh huh. It like you shouldn't just give up because you know. Like, don't let that discourage you. It's really, it's really discouraging. I understand it can be really discouraging. But think about. But this. if you're really determined, if you're really determined, I'm and, not and determination. You, well, I, I can't help you there. I mean, I can, I can tell you what you got wrong, and then uh -huh. I mean, I can, I can help you study a little bit. Uh -huh. Other than that, I mean, I mean, did you, did you also attend the, the cadet? Like the cadet, uh, okay, the cadet workshop that they had the other day. No. Okay, so I mean, next time they have a cadet workshop, you, you should go ahead and attend it. I know many people are gonna pass because of that. They do a really great job training, and then they, they literally go over the, the test question. Um, no, um, the thing is, as soon as I took out, I understand they, that, they but I'm saying they, like they on 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 so, like the force, like in active in an active like scene. We cannot, we, like, you? we can't afford someone to forget things. That's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, by the way, uh, but I mentioned that if they have, cla if yeah. they have absent micro, absent thingies, we pull, I pulled out a pea shooter and tried, you said, mesh fire, 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 fire. The whole SP says that that's okay weapon to shoot at a thing that can shoot me in seconds. Thank so, you, you cannot have a class three. It, it's just, it, unless you have permission, it, I, I, like it's just as simple as it's, that. I'm telling you now, that like everybody, that's how it is. Even uh -huh. even if it's in the SOPs, maybe you're just misunderstanding the SOPs. I don't uh, here, understand. You, I don't understand. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and send me. Go ahead and send me a screenshot of what you are talking about. I'm not even. I'll go ahead and explain to you. Okay. Uh, we can be here for weeks, like trying to explain to me how the SOPs works. I don't. Dagmar. Uh, Listen, I I really do believe in you. You did like you did a tremendous job, no, like just uh, by by just like listen, 
you got a 100% on your 10 codes. Uh -huh. You failed it last time. So you, I know you can study. I know you can remember stuff. I know it. You just have to believe in yourself. I understand that. I understand like a disability, like the disability has a toll. Uh -huh. But I, I, you, you've proven that you can do it. Or you've I already just, proven that to I me. I can just read it on the other screen, the 10 codes, and then I can just mimic everything I see on the screen. Anything I see, I can easily mimic. Hey. Let's see, have uh, another pair of eyes. That'll be good. Yes. But then I have to mimic everything I can see. Unlike Take other my. people. Take my, how many eyes do you how many pairs of eyes do you have? How many what? How many pairs of eyes do you have? How many different eyes do you have? Uh one. Like how many how many screens? I have, I have a computer. I have a laptop. And then you have your and then you have your one uh, like screen. Right. Yeah. I have this on this. Okay, so listen. When I asked you earlier, on no, the no, test, no, 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 no. I've been as honest with you. I have one screen. I was looking. I was responding to you. Okay. That's why. Right, it's, that listen, was... listen. Anyways, anyways, it's, we're going off topic. I'm just letting you know that I know you can do it. I, I know you can. It's just you have to believe in yourself and you have to put in the work for the SOPs. You've already put in the work for the ten codes. You've gotten the ten codes down. You got a one hundred percent on the ten codes. Uh huh. Not a lot of people get 100% on the 10 codes. I'm just going to let you know that. So you could, you've proven yourself on that. I, I know you can study. Just I'm going to go over the questions that you need to go over. And from there, just take it like that. And I know you'll do well next time. Because I know you can study. I know you have the capabilities of studying. Even though you have a disability. It's fine. A lot of people are dealing with a lot of shit too. And I've seen them make it. And I know you can make it for a fact. Because some other people that are in PD have... Worst things. I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say worst things. Like that's just a bad way of putting it. Just like circumstances that are not good for them either. You understand what I'm saying? Uh huh. I'm both found Dagmar. I, oh yes, yes. I was reading. Re, I was researching about what's the difference that's been between vandalism and theft. Why? Hmm? So I was reading about about. Before the way it was here, I was reading about how what's the two differences between the hunch thing right. because I'm trying to understand it more often because I don't see it physically, you know, I don't know what it looks like physically, and no one's showing right. an example. Okay, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask an officer. Oh, it's, okay, it's, what it's does it look like? What does what look like? That thing I mentioned. Reasonable suspicion? Yes, what does it look like? All right, so let me tell you what you got wrong, all right? Uh -huh. We'll get right to it. I'll, I'll explain everything to you. All right, so the question that I asked you was, what was reasonable suspicion and what does it permit you to do? You told me what it permitted you to do. You said Terry Frisk, you said GSR test, and you said detain, right? Those are the three things you said. But you forgot to tell me what is reasonable suspicion. So what we're looking for on the test is basically more than a hunch? You, you told me it was a hunch. You're shouting, That's incorrect. You're shouting. Oh shit. We're te we're hearing everybody give out to you. Sorry, sorry. Um, it's more than a hunch, not just a hunch. You you have to say more than a hunch, feeling, suspicion, and it's it's not it's not facts. You told me that it was factual, but it's lacking facts. So that's one that you got wrong. So you have to get more than a hunch or a feeling. More than a hunch and a feeling. It's not a hunch or a feeling. More than a hunch I or a feeling. Going. That's reason of suspicion. You told me that's based on observations, training, or intuition. You told me that, so I got you correct on there. Um, what you did miss was understanding that the crime was or soon to be committed. So that's one. And then you obviously, t you did not tell me that there was so you have to tell me that there's no evidence or facts either so basically here let me put it in like a simple way or i'll give you i'll give you an example way reasonable suspicion basically is when i go ahead and pull someone over because i see them or i i i, I pull someone over for speeding right i walk over to their car and i smell where marijuana in the air i smell it their eyes are red uh -huh. and i just smell oh. it in the air oh, i know? have reasonable suspicion uh -huh. listen i have reasonable suspicion or I have a hunch, more than a hunch or a feeling, that a crime has been committed or will be committed. So has been as in the past. So they have smoked weed or marijuana, which is illegal. 
but I have no evidence. I have no evidence. I have no, I can't see them actually smoking it right in my face. There's no evidence or there's no facts. Mm -hmm. So that right there is reasonable suspicion. And from there, I can go ahead and Terry frisk them. I can go ahead and tell them to step out the vehicle and Terry frisk them and see if they have any weed on them. That's Terry. And also with Terry, you got a question wrong earlier about Terry uh, frisking. Terry frisk is only if you can, you just pat them down. You have to search them, right? Like the same way that you would search them, but you can only pat them down. So if they have five or less drugs, for example, cocaine, I told you, I asked you specifically, I was like, all right, so would you take away one cocaine if they had it? You said yes, which is incorrect. You would not be able to see one, you wouldn't be able to see one cocaine in a Terry Frisk. Even though you see it when you search them, uh, a Terry, here, like a Terry Frisk would take place as in, I actually search you, but then I don't see those. I act like I don't see them because I'm Terry Frisking. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, so you can only the only thing that you can spot with Terry frisking is weapons, uh -huh. like uh, like a gun, uh -huh. or large amounts of cash, like like for example, where they have twenty thousand dollars dirty cash on them. You can go ahead and spot that because oh. you can feel the lump in their pocket, oh. or they have large amounts of drugs, oh, well, which, so, which is uh, five or more. So, so, uh, so real cops actually somehow fill their pockets to see if they has some suspicious items in your pockets. I, I understand that, yes. Yes, I understand that, but again, this is not real. We're, we're just doing this so it can be fair for everybody. Oh, oh. Because I'll be pretty, yeah. You, that's why I told you not to watch any TV shows cause, or, or Google, because it does not relate to what our SOPs have. That's completely different. Well, not completely, some things correlate, but it's, for the most part, it's different. Next thing, you got probable cause mostly, right? Um, it's based by facts. Or tangible evidence so it's the opposite of reasonable suspicion where we actually have facts we have concrete evidence that they have or will commit a crime you can search which you got that right they can uh -huh. seize and they can arrest those are three things that you can do with probable cause what you forgot to tell me was provides clear and compelling sustainable uh, sustainability sustainability sustain sustainability of a crime so basically you forgot to tell me um, that 100% of crime was committed so how would probable cause be an example? Because the question is, what is probable cause and what is it permitted to do? So what is probable cause? This is how you'd answer the question of what is probable cause. Probable cause is more than a hunch or a feeling, that, or it, it's, it's evidence, not more than a hunch. It's evidence that a crime has been or will be committed. That's all that you have to say. And then you just have to list off, like it's, it's based by facts. It's, it, it provides clear evidence that a crime has been committed. You can search these and arrest. An example of probable cause uh -huh. would be you pull someone over uh -huh. and you see you, you pull them over and you walk up to them and you smell marijuana in there. We're going to use the same exact uh, same thing. You smell marijuana in the air. You see your eyes are red, but they're actively smoking the blunt right in front of you. Or you see a, a lit blunt on the dash of their vehicle. And you see it's the smoke coming out of it. That is probable cause. And that is when you're allowed to arrest because you see the crime has been committed or you know a crime will become uh, or a crime will be committed because oh why would they have a litten blunt if it's if they're not going to smoke it or or they have smoked it so that's that's one thing right there oh, right uh, oh so how do i know if they their eyes are red i can't visibly see their uh, it's just roly-poly it's just it's just rasta pasta uh, they don't that, that's just an example it's just an example the probable cause can be so many different things for example um I tried to do that. You this. arrive on scene. Uh -huh. Listen, listen. Probable cause could be you arrive on. Here's another example, just so, so so it can be better formatted. You see someone gun down another person. You see them actively shoot another person, or you arrive on scene with someone dead, and you have and he has his gun out, standing over them. That's probable cause because a crime was committed. A guy is dead. He has a gun, and that and that's clear evidence. Or he has blood on his shirt or something like that. That's clear evidence. You can go ahead and arrest him, search him, and seize him, and, and gather evidence to make it more clear that he made he did do the crime. Let's move on to the next one that you got incorrect. How far away must bystanders stay away from an active scene? You said 45 feet. That is incorrect. But it's you, two. What? But 45 feet is actually the best way for none of them not to get shot and run over by locals. I, I understand that, but in the SOPs it says twenty. It says twenty-four feet. So you have to follow everything in the SOPs. But the, the, not what is best, not what you think is best, not how you think it'll be best. You just have to follow exactly what is directly in the SOPs. 
whether that's if for example an example of follow everything that's in SOPs would be not driving alone as a cadet to go see those lawyers because uh, if you if you follow the SOPs clearly like 100% by the book you would know not to follow those you would not you would know not to get in your vehicle and drive off on duty because that that simply is just listed on there that you are not allowed to drive a vehicle um so it's 24 feet or two traffic lanes uh, um and the thir- second one is you can it can be determined by an officer so you got that incorrect Um, we already went over the Terry Frisk. The Terry Frisk you got also incorrect. Read me my Miranda rights. I know, I know you're struggling. I know, but I couldn't mark you correct because Miranda rights are a big importance. If we get sued, you have to Miranda or someone correctly. So, I know today it won't fail you. You can get it wrong and you'll still pass the SOP portion. But try your best to get that. We do it in points. So, we have one point, two point, three point, four point, and five points. So five points. Of the Miranda rights. I marked you first one because you said you have the right to remain silent. That's the first point. Uh-huh. Then you started mixing up at the second point where after you have the right to remain silent, anything you say or do can and will be used against you in the court of law. You mix those a couple times. Third point, you have the right to remain silent, anything you say or do can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney and one present with you at all times during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You got I just marked you I, I couldn't mark you correct because it was a little bit mixed up which I understand where like you have a disability and I understand that it's tough to remember things stuff like that yeah. but try to do your best it won't fail you just try to get as many points correct okay um let me see what else you got correct oh yeah explain what a code 5 stop is and then give an example of when you would perform one um you got the explanation uh somewhat correct um it's so far for 32 shoes because it's dangerous to do go fight of alone you might get shot okay so because... if I stop here, here let me tell you let me just listen to what I'm gonna say okay because that was incorrect basically I still gave it to you even though you kind of said it in, I just gave it I just gave it to you basically a code 5 stop is a felony traffic stop same as a 1011 but you know there's a felon in it. so how would that go is you call in for additionals like you just said 32s but you have them set up in correct positioning which is primary secondary tertiary and parallel they all have specific uh, uh positions um uh and 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 and, and you it, what you told me was that i said what would you do in that situation you said you would tell them to get out the vehicle step out with their hands up take off the radio blah blah, blah. that's incorrect in a code five stop it's completely different than a a 10 11 and basically what you do in a code five stop is you have the person throw out shut off shut off their vehicle roll down their window throw out their keys step out their vehicle you're going to be having your you're going to be having a a primary is going to have a taser every single other person will have a lethal weapon so their glocks out they'll have a g17 out from there you will go ahead and tell you will command him or you will order him to go ahead and and move and, and 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 come back to the sound of your voice follow the sound of your voice keep talking keep following and then you go ahead and arrest them there then you go ahead and search the vehicle with other 32s and make sure that there's no one in the trunk or anything else in the trunk you make sure that everything is clear and then you go ahead and impound it if it was in a chase or depot if it wasn't using the crack uh you got you got everything basically correct from there hold on uh, list of ranks, you knew that. List the uh, names of the alphas, you knew that. How many strike points, you knew that. Uh, the, the true or false excessive force, you knew that. You, you knew a lot of things, and you, you did. You were doing really well. Um, another thing that you forgot, I said, how many rapid response units can be on scene? You said two, which is correct, on scene. So at a bank robbery scene. And then I asked you, how many motorcycle units are allowed on duty, which is completely duty, a complete duty, um, like just completely in the city. And it's only two. You said one, which I think you got mixed up. I, I went over again. Again, I, I specified. I was like, how many motorcycles are allowed on duty? duty? So that would be two. Um, I said, 
Uh, true or false, an officer must hold on to body cam footage for how many days? You said for a month because you're referring to a TV show or real life or whatever. And that is simply just incorrect. It's only three days. But it should be longer than three days. Uh, our SOPs has it three days because some people's brains are not strong enough to hold it for months at a time. Oh, no, no. I weeks can, at a time. I can actually hold it for months at a time. No, I understand that. I'm, I'm saying if you want to hey, if you, hey, if you want to hang on to it for that long, you can. But you have to tell me the minimum uh, the amount of days that we can hold it, which is three days. So I marked you incorrect for that also. But I do back it up onto the... What should I call it? <laughs> on your hard drive? No. Oh, up, up on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. You can keep it on YouTube. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm just saying, like... like don't get off track. It just follow the SOPs. That's it. Follow the SOPs to the T. And that's that's how you that's how you'll succeed in being in PD. Just follow them. Don't come up with your own stuff. Just just read the SOPs, and you'll succeed. That's all I can really tell you. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's like the, the, that's the best thing I can fix tell you. my uh, UI. It disappeared. Um, uh, you might have to pop your head. Let me tell you one. Let me let me just keep going until before you pop your head. Okay. What is the duty to intercede and report? I don't know exactly what you said, but I know you did not say it correctly. Duty and receipt the report is basically just you see something, say something. Whether it's in public or it's within the PD. So if I say if I do something that's incorrect, see something, say something. That's just all it is. Duty to intercede the report. See something, say something. Simple as that. How many vehicles are permitted on a or to participate in a vehicle pursuit and what are the positions? You gave me the positions correct. You said primary, secondary, tertiary, and parallel. You said that completely fine. Where you got mixed up was there's only four positions, so why would there be a fifth vehicle? Helicopter uh, is not considered a vehicle, but it motorcycle is, it is. is. No, helicopter is considered a vehicle. Listen, listen, listen. I understand that's considered a vehicle, but it's not considered a vehicle. And can you just step out real quick? Oh, sure. Thank you. I was Thank looking you. for two more. Sorry, you're good. You're good. Um, it's basically just helicopter, we don't consider as a uh. I guess so, but it's only four vehicles. We cannot consider it as a fifth. Motorcycle, same thing. It's a vehicle. It's an actual vehicle. Mm -hmm. Just remember that there's only four units allowed at all times in a pursuit, not five. Four vehicles, only four. Mm -hmm. Parallel, which runs diagonally in, 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 in different streets. Mm -hmm. Tertiary, which is right behind secondary, which mm -hmm. is right behind primary, and primary is right behind the suspect. Um, mm -hmm. What is the... No, you got that correct. All right. Um, let me see what. Air support is, should be one of them. But that's not considered a vehicle. Um. Well, like I, we kind of mix it up, but it, it's just it's just four. Just remember that four vehicles at all times, or or when you have enough people to be that fourth parallel. That's it. You cannot have any more than that. Parallel cannot be right behind tertiary. Tertiary is right. Listen, listen. This is how it goes. Primary, uh -huh. secondary is right behind primary, tertiary is right behind secondary, parallel is on the opposite street, trying to follow the chase and trying to try and change the direction of the suspect. They're not behind tertiary. Um, but that is all that you got incorrect. Um, the reasonable suspicion of probable cause. They're very heavy answers and they're very heavy questions. They hold a lot of points to it. Like just reasonable suspicion alone. The question is seven points. So you getting those three incorrect. It, like 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 even if you didn't if you got everything correct but reasonable suspicion, you got you got none of the reasonable suspicion questions correct, you would have failed. That's how heavy reasonable suspicion is. I don't know someone someone like that trained you should have told you that they're very heavy. And it sucks that no one did, because you should really study those as, as hard as you can because those are those are make or break questions. That's why earlier I told you, if you don't get this question right, you will fail. And I told you, if you get probable cause right, I'll forget what you did and we'll carry on. What you did get right for the most part, you just forgot that it provides clear evidence that they've done the crime. Uh, what's next? Oh, yeah. I that is all. To, I, need, the I need to get a racing harness. What was that? Didn't pop my head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Uh, what was the question? I uh, need, we, a, we need a racing harness. Then I need to pop my head. Um, right, let's check up on your racing harness. Do you know how to skip more? Do you have Dagmar's racing harness by chance? 
Oh, Jennifer Reese is here. Yes, he's right behind you. Reese, were you sitting here the whole time? Oh, thank. Okay. You oh. Racing harness? Oh, I got the eighty-one percent, sir. Uh, Dagmar, you're racing harness, right? Yes. Yes. Thank you. So, but Dagmar, go ahead and and study everything that I just told you. All right. Uh huh. But I got eighty-one percent. Yeah. So, uh, how do I start using fingerprint prints? What do you mean? Like, like in the cells? I want to make it more easier for myself to do things, not have more tasks. Like, I want to have it more easier to do things in the city. Yeah, I mean, can you, uh, can you talk, like, can you, can you explain it a little bit better on the fingerprint part? Oh, yes. Instead of, you know, the, it should show that what finger they have, fingerprints, make it more easier for you to scan your fingerprints. Same thing with blood tests. If, you know, if the blood DNA system was working, we can easily identify who blood was that was and ask later if they, who was that. Is, I mean, we have a fingerprint scanner downstairs. I mean, it stays the same. But what about the blood DNA test? Um, well, that's a little bit different. You just have to, uh, you'd have to have, like, blood DNA test. You have to compare the two. So you have to know that he did spill blood, the suspect spilled blood, and you have to grab it from the evidence. Uh -huh. you so, can with the how, how do, so the blood thing doesn't work? Um, I'm not sure. That's probably like a, a city higher up thing. Oh, oh, I have that, I have, that's the things that does not work as much. What was that? Oh. I said I have lots of Take things that, I said lots of things that does not work. Oh, yeah. But then I want you to have lots of things that being being able to work too in the city. Yeah. I want you to say I to say this to you guys that some of the SOPs saying that match firepower with firepower but they should be specific like you guys can't have weapons without asking permission. The well, it's it's specifically meant for officers. With cadets, we've already we've already established that they cannot carry class threes until told otherwise. So that's that's one thing. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you know now. If you, like I know I know you won't do it, but if you are caught holding a class three by a cadet or solo cadet, you will get striked, and it'll be a big one. It won't it won't be like one strike. It'll be it'll be a couple of strikes because you've been told not to carry one already. I uh, Dagmar, go ahead and uh, pop your head, alright? Uh, we'll go ahead and go to me. Alright, alright. Uh, 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 who's watching my stream? Oh my god. It's Steven! Hi Steven. Hi Steven. Uh, 
guys even So, I got a little mixed up there. Oh. Right, so like for like, let's say like, um...
kind of that way when the criminals were caught. Dancer just. I don't even know who Dancer is. I don't know who Dancer is. I think it's just you and Dell, honestly, and Dakota. Bro, like, what did I have before? I gotta have it somewhere, right? Uh. Where you got. Holy shit. What? Dagmar. What up? Can you let me down in the cells, please? You get a client down there. Oh, never mind. I was gonna ask you over here. Alright, you've been processed before, sir. Uh, what? Have you been processed before? Uh, no, sir. Uh, what's your name? Carson McLean. Alright. Russ, are you gonna be his lawyer? Go ahead and face towards me. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, fingerprint you, all right? Go ahead and hit that middle right there. Thank you. Now you can go ahead and flex your escape muscle. What the hell? Why is this door open? Alright, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a quick search slash pat down. You okay with me doing that? Do you have anything that's gonna poke me, stick me, or hurt me? Check the flashlight just for now. I'll go ahead and give it the exact same thing with your phone. Um, I'm gonna have to see if the hammer was committed to the crime. Yeah, I'm taking the video. Okay, I can't let you. Go ahead and let you. You're good. I'll go ahead and let you keep the food, the drinks, and the nothing, right? Uh, uh, just go ahead and come here. Uh, and I'll go ahead and look up if you could just around. Right over here. Yeah, uh, can you just go ahead with your name one more time? Carson is spelled C A R S O N. And then Mc McLean M C or how you spell that? Oh, gotcha. Bye. Alright, Miss Bell. This motherfucker. I want my stuff back, man. Oh. oh. I'll go ahead and, uh, put Lieutenant, uh, Dawson to the door. Okay, um, will you, you come with me? Um, I'll get your statements down, and um, it'll be your choice if you want to um, press any charges and things like that, okay? Uh, 
um, it's not your bike, so it would be a no. So, what's now? I'm gonna talk to Russ privately. Okay. Thank you. 